Good morning, and it is a good morning now. Um, it is an honor to be with folks um, here today. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for, for committing yourselves to, to, to this struggle and, and to this movement. My name is Liz Theo Harris. I am the founder and co-coordinator of the Poverty Initiative here at Union Theological Seminary. I'm also the co-director of the newly formed Kairos, the Center for Religions, Rights, and Social Justice, which we are launching here today. As everyone already in this room knows and has heard even more profoundly this morning, we live in precipitous times, times of tremendous possibilities and severe challenges for the global struggle for dignity and rights. Waves of movements are sweeping the globe and raising the possibility of full and abundant lives for all people. There are reactions as have already been described this morning to these movements that have shown the powerful economic, political, and social forces deeply opposed to change and prepared to do everything necessary to stop us. So these possibilities demand action. The challenges, though, require action based on the most serious reflection and analysis on theology and theory, on practice, on walking and talking, educating and organizing. Religion plays a critical role in these struggles. Believers in, rel in religion are leaders in these movements, finding inspiration and steadfastness for our journey. But then, as we've heard, our opponents use religious beliefs to oppose change, to create division, to justify inequality and oppression, and to fuel antagonism between us. So this brings us to today and to Kairos, this inbreaking of a movement, this inbreaking of history. This renewal movement that is breaking through is focused on protecting and loving all of God's children. It's, an, it's, it's focused on ensuring the well-being of all. It is focused on standing up for what is right. So therefore, Kairos stands for and aims to kind of strengthen this relationship between rights and religions through rigorous scholarship, through applied research, pr shared practice, and a whole lot of marching and singing and struggling together, we are going to work to contribute to transformative movements for social change that can draw on the strengths of our faith traditions and our concept of, of rights and dignity and justice. As we approach the 50th anniversary of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King's Poor People's Campaign, a centerpiece of Kairos and a continuation of the decade-long work of the Poverty Initiative will be to reignite a global poor people's campaign and to unite a big and powerful movement united across race, nationality, religion, boundaries, geography, issue area, and promote justice, dignity, and rights for everyone. We invite everyone gathered here today to join in the building of this poor people's campaign and to the uniting of these bigger struggles and movements. Rather than a conference where we simply share ideas, exchange stories, instill passion and emotions, and then go back to our communities and dig ourselves deeper into our issues, our organizations, our congregations, our classrooms, we want this event to be a launching pad for a broader movement where we can unite our disparate struggles and people into something big enough to transform our society and world. 